So welcome, we're talking about A-level psychology and today's topic is CBT. Hi guys, so today we'll talk about CBT. So CBT stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. It's a type of talk therapy, which means that it is a face-to-face -face type situation. Um, so CBT is based off the idea that um, your thoughts and feelings affect your actions, okay? So things that you do in life uh, are affected by things that you think and feel, your reactions to those situations or to those things. So there might be many times in your life where you've made mistakes, you've done things that you regret, um, and it's about reflecting on this, okay? So it's about being introspective and looking at what were the thoughts and feelings to a particular situation and how would you like to change those? It doesn't involve an external imposition of ought, of value. Um, you can decide for yourself what you want to think instead or what you want to feel or how you want to act. It's about changing your thoughts. It's about changing who you are, essentially. It's controversial, but people often on the internet talk about being, oh, you're perfect just the way you are. No, that's a lie, actually, and quite a dangerous one, too. Um, you're not perfect, which is good. That's a good thing. That means you can change. If you're in a terrible situation in life, if something's really bad, it's good to know that that is temporary. You can change. You're going to get out of that, um, and that's a good thing. CBT works off this idea that you can change who you are, you can change your thoughts and feelings about things, about people, about situations, and in turn, that will affect your actions in those situations. So again, coming back to things that you regret or about how you prefer to react in situations, okay? So everyone ought to have an ideal. You want to be someone else, okay? You want to be a better person, hopefully and CBT is a way to kind of take those steps for you to become that better person. So whatever ideal you have, you're here, your ideal's up there, and CBT is based off the idea that we can change things about ourselves to take us from one stage to the next. So one way you can do this is keeping a diary. This normally happens in CBT. Just keep a log on your phone about something that happens so identifying an event, um, what your immediate thoughts and feelings were about that event and how you acted, okay? Um, so keep a log of all, these, all the times these things happen. So let's say you have depression. Um, according to the cognitive triad, you might have uh, negative thoughts about three things, yourself, the world, and the future. Um, so if you have all these negative thoughts about yourself, identifying when those thoughts arise, what those thoughts and feelings were, um, and then deciding yourself on an alternative. So you can decide on um, what thoughts perhaps you would prefer to have in those situations, okay? Instead of beating yourself up, what kind of things would you like to think about yourself? What kind of things would you like to think about the world? What kind of things would you like to think about the future? Um, and especially right now in the midst of a pandemic, it might seem like there is no future. Uh, it might feel like uh, we are stuck, but this is where CBT and uh, things we can take from CBT come in handy because then we can change our views about the future. We can give ourselves something to look forward to. You identify these events, for whatever your thoughts are and what thoughts you'd like to change. Um, and then you come up with alternatives, uh, okay? So uh, it's the same for d depression, anxiety, eating disorders, anything like this. It doesn't need to be so severe. It can be just your everyday, okay? Um, so one thing, for example, that I've tried to do, kind of tell myself a positive thing, kind of mentally reward myself for doing small tasks during the day. Um, and that makes me feel like I've achieved stuff because one weakness of mine is that I downplay a lot of my achievements um, and pass them as off as though they don't really mean anything. So those little things every day, I make sure to take a mental note of, you've done that, you've done a thing, well, that, like you did that. So if you have um, an eating disorder, for example, you might have negative thoughts about foods or perhaps on healthy thoughts about foods or yourself 
Um, and then it's about identifying when those thoughts arise and what thoughts you'd uh, prefer to have. Then it is a case of practicing those thoughts. Okay, so every time you enter into that situation, take note of what the immediate thought was that ar arose. Make sure to have a habit of uh, changing the thought that you have. So in short, that is what CBT is, is the idea that we can change, we can change our thoughts and feelings about a situation, um, and that in turn will change our actions in the real world and help us become our idealized self.